Friendly greetings. Today, I'm going to show you how to report a bug. Knowing how will make you happier and more confident, and it's easier than you might think. Since you're already smart enough to use Second Life, you'll enjoy this and understand this quickly just by doing. So let's get started here. In your web browser, just going to type in jira.secondlife.com. Easy as that. Press enter. And then it loads the issue tracker right here. Don't worry about this stuff you see. The first important thing to do is to log in. Go ahead and click this to log in. And it'll bring you to this screen. Enter your Second Life name and password. And this is secure, so go ahead. I'll use this as an example. I'm Trolley Tester. And then when that's in filled out, you can go ahead and log in. Just click that a few more moments and here we have it. Again, don't worry about this. We're here to create a new issue, report a bug. So click that and it takes us to the next screen. Now this shows how simple it is in actuality. There's two steps basically. It's kind of like filling out a survey. Have you ever done that on MySpace or Facebook? It's pretty similar. Just have some questions to answer. So first of all, here we have project. Select a project. If you're not sure what the difference between these, the viewer is the desktop application that runs on your computer, Second Life Viewer. The service refers to our servers, things like that. So for example, physics would be part of a service issue. The website is secondlife.com, as well as related websites, such as this issue tracker. So if you have a bug about this issue tracker, you would select this. Miscellaneous, stuff that doesn't fit in the above. And these other issues, just be concerned with them if you know what they mean. Otherwise, no need to worry. So let's go ahead and select viewer as an example. And issue type, here we go. Three, oh, three easy choices, bug, new feature, and meta issue. New feature is pretty obvious. And something new added to Second Life to make it better, hopefully. A meta issue is just an issue that's a collection of links relating to other issues, helping issues of a same or similar sort of type be better organized so we can see them at a glance. For example, crashes having to do with the inventory window. That's just an example. <laughs> but for this, we're gonna select bug. Wasn't that easy? Let's go ahead, click next. And here we are, step two of two. These have been filled out. And now we're ready to fill out the summary. Ah, uh, the summary. It's like a book title, a headline, newspaper headline. You want to make sure it's not too short, but not too long that it's incomprehensible either. For instance, crash. This doesn't really tell me all that much. It's not helpful. Therefore, it is crap. I'll go ahead and delete that. But this is much, much better. If I was, let's see, gonna type, let's see, opening inventory window after editing LAN crashes me. Very simple, very casual, no need for really technical language there, but it summarizes it really nicely. Next, priority. This goes from showstopper, the most important, to small, the least important. Generally, a lot of bugs will be in major. I mean, normal, sometimes major, if they have a workaround. Critical is for harsher bugs that don't have a workaround, and especially if they are reproducible crashes. We want to get to them quickly. Reproducible meaning we can follow it and recreate it and make it happen at will. So, this might be very well a critical. And if you're not sure what these might mean in detail, you can click this. But let's go on to components. So obviously, it's crashes. And some bugs might be two or three components, in which case you can actually, it doesn't say this, this is why I'm sharing it. <laughs> you can hold down control and click additional components to select them. Please make sure these are selected for accuracy. Just do the best to your knowledge. So for example, editing LAN, it might have to do with LAN. So, right. I will hold down control and I will click land. And here we have it, both crashes 
and LAN are selected. Now I'll scroll down here. Almost done, we're getting close. Effects version. In most cases, you'll just want to select the most recent released version. That's pretty simple. If you know that you're using a technology preview, such as a release candidate or a first look wind light or another first look, select that instead. And sometimes in our blog posts, when Lindens make announcements about helping you to help us report bugs, they'll ask for a specific effects version to be selected. And that's what you need to look here. For example, Havoc, Havoc 4 beta, which is going on right now, even though that's a service issue, not a viewer issue, it would have a component of physics and the effects version would show up here. So again, if you're in doubt, feel free to ask us or look at other issues of similar types. And always feel free to ask your friends. Environment. This is really easy to fill out too. Let me show you how to do that. Here we are at the Second Life login screen, a familiar sight to you, I'm sure. And here's how to get your environment information, your system info. Just click on Preferences and when you go to about, there it is at the top. And you just need to select this, click, drag, and it's all selected. And although you don't see a copy menu item, you can go ahead and use the keyboard shortcut, control C, and that is copied. And when I minimize this, let me go ahead and close this, minimize, and then I'm gonna paste it. You can either use control V, the shortcut, or edit menu and paste and there it is don't worry about any of these finer details or what they mean in particular if you don't understand it's just important that we know so there you have it and next you will want to fill in the description and oh well, by the way before I go further you can also get the environment after you logged in let me show you how to do that too just very quickly for your reference Let's bring Second Life back up. Let's close this, close this, and I'm gonna go in with my tester account today. And I'm gonna go ahead and connect. So of course it gives you the familiar screen to log in. And it just takes a few seconds. Ooh, live music going on, eh? Cool. There's so much going on at Second Life. Come on, connect me, baby. Ah, ooh, thunk thunk. Okay, I probably got a message or so. Ooh, a message for myself. I was testing things. So, once you're in Second Life, you can also get the environment information by going to Help, and then About Second Life, and the same thing comes up. Remember, you can just select it, and it shows the information too, additionally, about where you're connected. This is important, which region you're in, if there's a bug specific to a particular region, for example. Otherwise, you just go ahead, select, and control C, or edit menu, and copy again. That will work as well. So let me go and log out this time, out of Second Life, and you'll see I can just go and delete this, and again, I can go edit menu, and paste it in, and here it is again, just for your assuredness. Aha, the description. If we are gonna think as uh, ab about a bug report, like a fine recipe, this is the meat, the real meat of the whole course we've got here. So the description contains what we need to know, the further details of reproducing this bug. And often it follows a very simple format. For example, step one, step two, and then I, use, I like to use this you don't have to follow this exactly, but it's just how I do it. It's nice and simple and easy to follow. Observed, like what behavior you saw, what happened, and expected, what you actually expected to happen, the correct functionality, or how things should work if they're not broken. So let's look at this again here. The summary was opening inventory window after editing LAN crashes me. So the repro, the reproduction, the description in this case, is probably gonna be pretty straightforward. And not all bugs are like this, but thankfully there are a great amount which are, and it just takes a few moments to fill this out. So, for example, it could be click inventory button on the toolbar. Doesn't have to be always fleshed out so much, 
but all the details step by step. If a friend can follow it, if a Linden can follow it, then it's probably good and golden. If a friend doesn't know what the heck you're talking about, then I'm sorry, that's probably not a good bug repro. And of course, you can ask several friends. Some may know more than others, and community support always helps. So, step two might be, hmm, remember you can edit in any order here. So, an earlier step to this might have had to be after editing land. So, for example, right click on the ground, terrain, and choose about land from that familiar pie menu. And here we go, that's the first step. That's the second step. And we might as well have observe step, what you see that is wrong, viewer crashes. Or you could say I crash, that's fine too. And here we go, expected what you expected. Of course, it should not crash. And here we go, a very simple recipe for a bug reproduction. And you can share this, you can copy and paste this or direct people to this page after the issue is filed and they can follow this and try it for themselves. And one of the most inspirational things I find is when there's a great repro and a lot of residents are trying it and they're like, this happened for me too. And they give their details and that really, really helps having multiple eyewitness accounts so we can solve a bug. So that is also good to know. And here we go, the last step, you don't always have to include this, but it's an attachment. See if you have a log file, a picture, because some bugs happen to be graphical, or even better, a video bug report. Do note that you can actually attach multiple files if needed. As you can see, there's two browse things because I just actually tried to attach one and then deleted it. But to show you exactly how this works, click browse. It opens a standard file browser window. And for example, I have a Second Life log there. So I can go ahead and click open and it'll include that. So here we go. There is our bug and we're almost ready to file it. That was pretty simple. The advanced tab, by the way, you may have been wondering about that. You don't have to fill this out with most bugs. Don't worry about that, unless you know. Lindens usually fill in this information here, but you can just stay on the basic. So, what we have, the summary. Okay, that looks good, the priority. Okay, components look all right as well, or reasonable at least. The effects version has been set, the environment is filled in. Some of these fields, by the way, are optional, but the more helpful information, of course, the better. And the description, it looks pretty clear. I don't think I could mistake it for something else, like an alien abduction. <laughs> so, and the attachment is right here. Let's go ahead and create our first bug. Just give it some moments. And here we go. Isn't that wonderful? Now, the key is the issue tracking number. In case you need an easy reference to refer to, it's also right up here in the address. You can see all the information that we've entered is right here. Components, effects version, the attachment, and everything else. So now, it's also searchable and I plan to cover that in a future video tutorial. But now, you can feel really, really good about yourself because you've just filed your first bug. After all this, you may be wondering still, why would you want to report a bug? Ha, <laughs> that's simple too. So we can fix it and make Second Life better. Second Life is resident-created, community-driven, so it makes sense that we have help to help you and we cannot achieve what we do not know. <laughs> Something else I suggest, when you report a bug, you're automatically a watcher, so you don't have to click this, but if you want friends to also watch for updates, they can watch it. They can go ahead and click watch it like this. And what that means is when there's an update, like when it gets fixed or other residents have comments to add to this d discussion, then they'll get email updates notifying them of this. And of course, friends who feel, and strangers who may become friends later, since it's so community driven, they can vote for issues. And what I also suggest sometimes I like to do is, I like to bookmark bugs that I report. 
I can keep track of them easily through here. There's several ways, but this is just one of them. And there, it's right there. So, these are just the basics. But it's enough to give you a big step forward. Thanks for joining me on this bug reporting adventure, and enjoy your second life. <laughs>